Your work. I am work. It's, ah, okay. it's so hot. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. So I'm we are meeting with you for you, teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. There was a problem with my computer and it restarted the system. So I don't know what happened. But it's all good now. So thank you very much for waiting. I appreciate your wait. But we are ready right now. So how are you guys? How are you feeling today? So far, good. Fine, so far, so good. Fine. Very, very nice, teacher. Okay, okay. Is it hot where you live, guys, right now? It's a little bit cold. Cold? Yes. Yeah, here is a little hot. bit hot. Yes. We live close, right? <laughs> With with marcos we live close so yes it's hot but i know there where you live marcos in union is hotter than Usulutan. that i know that it's I know. so very hot yes. uh, um, i go to the union city i live in conchagua okay uh, i stay a minute of driving there in, in the motorcycle or mm -hmm. five minutes in car okay. um, the change of, of, of climate, weather, weather is so very, 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 very bad. It's like drastic. It's drastic. But yes. because um, I have a problem with money. But the drastic, the drastic weather, uh, the cold and the hot is so bad. I know, I know. And also, do you live close to, what is this, El Espíritu de la Montaña? Uh, the city, in the city, um, the, the Espíritu de la Montaña. It's right, it, I know it's Conchagua, but Hola. like you have to go up in the mountain, right? Si me escuchan bien o hay problema con mi audio. Sí, se escucha bien. Yes, teacher. I listen very good. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Thank you very much. Okay, pero usted está, ¿a cuánto del, digamos, del espíritu de la montaña yendo? ¿A cuánto está Marcos? Media hora. Wow. That's good. Yeah. Media hora. Yes. But you only have to go in the trucks they have there, right? Like, or you can go by motorcycle. I think you cannot. A motorcycle. You can go on a motorcycle? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's not dangerous? Uh, only jumpy. <laughs> jumpy, yes, it's a little bit jumpy, I will say so. I went there in 2019, before the pandemic. And yeah, it was... Three years ago. Yeah, it, it was before the pandemic. Since the pandemic, I have not traveled that much, but yes, I went there. Anyways, let's start with the class because yes, I was I was a little bit late and there we are here now. Okay, guys, so remember, uh, we're practicing a new tongue twister I, that I need you to practice. This is the last one that we're gonna practice in this module. It's a little bit difficult, like it's different and it's longer, I will say but you need to practice in order to improve your pronunciations, okay? Now, for the ones that were here yesterday, you already know it, but for the ones that were not here yesterday, oh, but first, before we start, send me the date to the chat, as always, please, I need it. Okay, I need the date in the chat, please. Okay, again, again, the same thing all over. Month first, date then. The first thing we write. 
I have people living in the future here. Let me see. Yes, like the big majority of you did a good job. February, no February, 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 February. It's a twister on my, my finger. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Now, guys, remember in English, I'm going to say it again because some of you made a mistake here. Remember, in English, the first thing we write, for example, is going to be the month, the day, the day, Tuesday. Then, a specific date, then we write the month. And then we write the date. But not in this order. Because in Spanish, I know we do it like this, right? That it's in Spanish, we do it like this. But in English, it's different because in English we say the month first and then we say the date that it is, okay? So remember, always remember that part because that's very important and I see that we're, have, we're having problems there. Anyways, let's go with the topic and the date for today. Please, can you help me reading the date, um, Heidi? Okay, teacher. Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. 2022, okay. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Um, Glenda, can you help me reading the topic? Noun phrases containing relative clauses as an object. No, I'm sorry. It's just a subject. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, yeah, but I'm going to fix that. Anyways, wait a second. It's not an object. Darn it. It's just a subject. It's 5.3 today. Oh, my goodness. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, have you been working on the platform, guys? Did like, has anyone here completed the platform so far? Yes. You completed the platform, Marcos? Yes. Okay, perfect. Good job. Thank you very much. The Who else? Section, the section. I see. I haven't finished the section. Wait. Um, no, um, only final exam. Oh yeah, but you have to do the final crossing, exam. Crossing, 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 crossing course or have finished. No, but I'm asking if we finished. No, you have to go ahead. Like not only when I'm explaining, because remember the last day I'm going to explain the last topic, but the last day you have to complete the platform before we start the class. Okay. Uh, okay. Jasmine, do you have something to say? No, no, no. It's only that I finished the platform. Oh, you finished the platform, the final exam and everything? Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, guys. So we have to start like now we have to complete that. Like the platform, everything, the exercises, the final exam, everything. Because by Thursday before before, so I mean antes, that we start the class, you need to have that completed, okay? Done, everything done. Do we get it? Yes, yes or no? Yes, teacher, yes, we teacher. get it. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. Okay, yes, now teacher. let's go here. So we were practicing this yesterday. We're gonna practice a little bit right now. Remember, the tongue twisters are there for you to practice your pronunciation and you have to say it. Yesterday I told you, some people say here, papers. It's not papers, it's 
peppers. Peppers. Okay, like you see it. Peppers. 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 Okay, it's Peter Piper, not Peter Piper or Peter Piper. It's Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. And remember to always use the R sound correctly. Because in Spanish, we do it like Peter Piper. No, Peter Piper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I'm going to give you five minutes to practice this, and then we're going to come back again. Remember, it's not about speed. It's about pronunciation. Right now, it's about pronunciation. Okay, let's go.
Okay. Okay, good. Good everyone. Okay. Esperemos para irnos. Okay, Miguel, your turn. Okay. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. Where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper pick. Next. José Manuel. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Peter Bro. Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, a peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, como era? Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper, Piper, Piper pick, Piper. if Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick. Me traba ese, ya lo repasé como 10 veces ese Piper. Peter Piper pick. <laughs> Peter Piper, ese Piper. Eh, Peter, que me traba. Peter Piper sounds ese. like Peter Parker. You know, ese Piper. Uh, me. Peter Piper picks a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picks. Is Peter Piper picks a pick of pickled peppers? Where are the pickled peppers? Peter Piper picks. Nice. It's my turn. Están practicando otra versión del tongue twister. Why, teacher? Es la es misma. Otra versión. No, es otra a, little, a little bit different. No. ¿Y la que yo le di? <risa> Porque ahí I dice, miren abajo this. en la parte, It's Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Where are the pickled peppers? Y, él, y la otra where es, is, where, where is the peck of pickled peppers? Uh -huh. Ese que está ahí señalando el primerito, es el primerito, el primero. Ese, es no. Uh -huh. no, 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 el primero. Es first. que no me deja, no me deja, no ese. me deja descargarlo. Mm. Ese es el detalle. Tomale solo, solo ah, haciéndole está. zoom. Peter Piper. Wait, 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 wait. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it's different. You see, For the, the other one say, "Where are the pickled peppers?" Yes, says, "Where's the yes, peck of pickled peppers?" Pe mm -hmm. yep.
I don't listen, teacher. Ajá, con que estamos copiando. Oops. Oops. You are sending the answers to the exercises. And I am on the chat. I'm on the chat and I see that you're sending. <laughs> you're sending that. Es, es compartiendo información, ¿verdad? Solo comparando respuestas. That's what it is, right? Maybe. <laughs> okay, now guys. So who's brave enough or who thinks they know the tongue twister now and you want to try and say it today? Aha, it's difficult. That one is a difficult one, Nicole. right? You want to say it, okay, Janet? I want to try it. Okay. You want me to share the screen? Please. Okay. Let me wait a second. There we go. Peter, Pi Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper pick a pick of a pick of pick of ah, I start you can again. start again. You can start again. <laughs> but remember, Piper just remember, just remember, this is picked. This is picked. Okay, picked. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. A pick of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. Where's the pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked? Yes, good job. Very good, yes. Janet. Excellent job. I Excellent. love this twister. It's the only that I, I, I can do. Oh, this. really, really? But it's longer, <laughs> but, but it's good. It, it, it's, but it's, it's good. Yes. It's better I, than other. <laughs> really? Well, maybe for some people. In the, in the little room, is a dancing. She dancing. She's dancing. Yeah. Peter Piper pickle. A pickle, pickle peppers. <laughs> she was dancing with a dog sister. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, who else wants to try? Nobody else? I mean. Okay, perfect, Miguel. Peter Piper pick a peg of pickle pepper. A peg of pickle pepper. Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peg of pickle pepper. Where's the peg of pickle pepper? Peter Piper pick. Very good. Good job, Miguel Angel. Mm -hmm. And I can really see it's that Janet, so far. Janet likes the tongue twister because like Miguel was saying the tongue twister and Janet was doing that. <laughs> she was doing the little dance. <laughs> okay, perfect. So if you don't, if you can continue right now, it's okay. We are going to say it on Thursday. That's going to be the day, the final day for this tongue twister. Okay, guys, now I have a few questions for you. And I need you to discuss these questions. It's related to the topic we saw yesterday. Remember that we saw about different cultures, about the, for example, giving two kisses in Spain. Um, for example, slurping. What is a slurping? Remember what I told you about slurping? Do you remember the meaning of slurping? Never. Nope. I told you in the Chinese culture, some Chinese cultures are uh, slurping is a sign that the food was delicious. So what is slurping? El sorbo, el ruido. It's like a uh, um, when you eat the, the food. Yeah, exactly. 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 That's what it is. So it's like exact, exactly what Miguel is doing right now. So that's slurping. And you do it like that's slurping. So we were practicing and we were learning about other cultures yesterday. But today I need you to answer these questions with your classmates. Okay, the first question we have is, have you ever met people from other countries? Have you ever been to another country? What do you know about 
cross-cultural experiences. So cross-cultural experience is when a person from one, one country and a person from another country get together and they cross cultures. So they have different culture, cultural stuff. What do you know about cross-cultural experience? And the last question is, what other cultures do you know about, okay? Do you know about what kind of cultures? So I need you to go and practice these questions. For example, let's, let's practice right now here. Um, Glenda, have you ever met people from other countries? Yes, I have met um, many people in Israel. Okay. Uh, I was in a seminary for science and culture. And there we were there in 30? 30? Participantes. Uh -huh. 30 participants. And I was the one Salvadoran there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and all the other ones were from Israel? No, uh, they were from Guatemala, Mexico, uh, Republic Dominicana, Argentina, Colombia, Ecuador, etc. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you Just very much. Just Latin people. Mm -hmm. Just Latin American peoples. <laughs> people, I mean people, 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 is the correct people. Okay, so now what you need to do is to go and practice these questions, like go and ask and answer these questions. I am pretty sure that you have a lot of things to say about this because we have been to other countries maybe. Maybe we have met people from other countries and we know a little bit about this stuff. So I need you to go, so take a screenshot right now, take a screenshot of the questions. And we are going to go and have a conversation about this. Remember, please remember. Se lo voy a decir en español. Recuerden que somos varias personas en el grupo y no voy a tomar yo todo el tiempo del grupo para contestar una pregunta, ¿verdad? Le voy a dar la palabra a mis compañeras y compañeros para que también puedan participar, right? Yes, because I am pretty sure that we have things to say about this. We have many stories, maybe to talk about, podemos salir un día a la playa y platicamos de esto all day long. But right now, it's just to practice. So give a chance to everybody, so everybody can participate in this. Okay, let me see. Yeah, this is good. Okay, yep, we can go.
avocado with sugar. Yep. Really. <laughs> really? Sounds, it sounds like a strange. Hey, it's avocado, no avocado, avocado. Okay. Avocado. Yes. And you're talking about people from Brazil that they, the avocado there is like a fruit, right? You can do milkshakes. Yeah, like Ecuador. Oh, Separate. okay, okay. Miguel, you're still sending messages to the group. Please send them privately <laughs> because you're talking in the group. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yes. Hi, Adriana. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry hey, that I, I didn't, I that I didn't <laughs> send the message to the group. I just logged in in the computer and your classmates were here waiting. So I didn't know. Yeah. Um, but right now your classmates are practicing or i mean answering these questions i'm going to share the questions with you so they are answering these questions about the topic we were practicing yesterday uh, okay so if you can take a screenshot and i'm going to send you to a breakout room okay okay teacher thank you did you take the screenshot yeah yeah okay perfect. perfect so let me send you this one. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Question time is interesting because you you learn new things from from other places. That's that's pretty pretty good for me. Different culture. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Even what other cultures do you know about? Culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other cultures do you know about? Ah, a culture. Mm, I think just the, the Japan culture, uh, they tend to celebrate different uh, festivities that in this country we, we don't celebrate. Like for example, Halloween, I don't know. We don't celebrate that, that uh, festivity here, but in United States, in Japan, Mexico is very common. Another uh, festivity is um, the Thanksgiving. It, I don't know if it is. Uh -huh, yeah. So it's the principal. Yeah, I think it is the, the, the most important festivity than than. Uh, the Christmas. 25. Yeah, exactly. Yes, really. It's, it's similar to the, the Independence Day. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Because in this country, we can see some countries like those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Era un poquito. Entonces, por eso tuviste que regresar al país. It's another culture. Yes, it was very different. Uh, are you are you speaking? Hey, boss. ¿Qué onda, boss? ¿Cómo estás, boss? Mucha. ¿O cómo, cómo le hey, mucha. ¿Cómo está, mucha? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, mucha. Vamos a ver, vos. Vamos a ver, vos. No seas. No seas. Pi. Yo no digo nada mejor. <laughs> ok. Um, the last question is: What other cultures do you know about it?
Hola, vos. <laughs> What? When, when you get in the chat room, you speak with the uh, Miguel have experience, he have experience in the Guatemala, he live. Uh, we return to El Salvador, I go speak uh, in the origin of Guatemala. Hola vos, como estas vos? So you were speaking like you were in Guatemala? Yeah. Hola yeah, vos, know, como estas vos? <laughs> Yeah, they speak cantadito, we will say, right? They speak cantadito, yes. They, they have that particular. Okay, guys, now, tomorrow we have an important grammar topic. We're gonna see a grammar topic tomorrow. So please be in the class because we're gonna know a little bit about a little bit more about noun phrases and we're gonna know a little bit about also let me see relative clauses we did a relative relative clauses a few days ago we were gonna practice a little bit more about that tomorrow okay so please be here in the class And as always, try to complete the platform because before Thursday's class, we need to be done with the platform, okay? okay yes. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so have okay. a great night and I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night.